We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Oh, it's nice that they mowed the lawn first. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I forgot I was... I got a problem with authority! Yeah, and you probably fucked up the ground when you did that. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Ooh, sandwich. <laughs> An ice cream sandwich. Even better. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Mm, fuck you, I want ice cream. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> we need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Dogs? I don't like coffee, so. <gasps> coffee. Oh, I was gonna go for either coffee or dogs. This one's too responsible for us. <laughs> uh, coffee? Should we go for coffee? I like coffee. Coffee? Okay. Coffee. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we've had a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Also, the dogs were awesome. Smile as often as you can. It will make others around you feel more comfortable. Or uncomfortable. Depends on how you smile. <laughs> ah. That's the way <laughs> We walk down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Coffee spoon. Also, it looks like if you open the door, the shirts are just right there in your way. Yeah. I know that's not how it is. It's probably supposed to be more back, but that's how it looks. I'm okay with this. Like, I have drawn yeah. colored backgrounds. I appreciate they even bothered to color the shirts. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I wasn't complaining. I was just noting that it's kind of funny if you open it and the shirts are just right there. She if that was the store. She has an egg on her jacket. Yes. We have an egg shirt. Yes. And she has a panda. Does, does that really correlate? Like, does it change if you change your outfits? No. Fuck if I know. Oh, oh, no. no. She just always has an egg. Oh, okay. It matches our egg shirt. Uh-huh. Yeah. Man, it's such a convenient walking distance from our place. I wish that was true of my real house. <laughs> yeah, you look like... I live, I live between a field and the police station. <laughs> I am not going to get coffee if I walk to the police station. Like, officer, I need, I need coffee. Because <laughs> you didn't make friends with them. Clearly. You just go to Dunkin' Donuts. You have a library. I have a Keurig in my room. <laughs> yeah, that works too. I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people. This daddy understands me <laughs> with his freaky eyes. <laughs> the Lorax, he speaks for the trees and you. <laughs> Barely. Am I a tree? I don't know. <laughs> Are you a tree? <laughs> I'm a tree person now. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. I feel you. <laughs> Dad. I'm feeling you. Ah, Dad! <laughs> no, no. Scott's no. <laughs> already like, don't touch me. <laughs> Mr. G, you don't want those words going together. <laughs> I mean, she's cupcakes. I do, I have cupcake pants. <laughs> I just got the cupcake wrapper and the cupcake top and that's the icing and the sprinkles. Okay. Sprinkles. And this one has a cherry. Cherry. Mm. <laughs> it abuses me, I'm sorry. It's awesome. They're like 10 bucks. I mean, I like them. They're comfy too. <clears throat> I could have said that way less creepy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll cut that out too. <laughs> Probably not. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you get it? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're the jerk that who left their mug? Chill. I mean... <sighs> Dad, are you just afraid of meeting new people? Yes, Amanda! <laughs> we walk inside. 
Oh. Copy that. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Final records line the walls, and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to your your fidget spinner is distracting me. <laughs> it's really hard for me to read. <laughs> That's even more distracting. I claim your leg is my own. <laughs> I can't do the splits. I can't stretch that far. <laughs> you weren't doing the splits. Your leg was not in the opposite direction. Honestly, I'm really that old in my legs. <laughs> they pop. They don't bend the way they used to. <laughs> Did they ever bend that way? Probably when I was like a year old. <laughs> Babies are very flexible. That's fair. You can move their legs however you want. Mm-hmm. Skylar, <laughs> what? What's wrong? There was nothing wrong with that sentence. Babies are too malleable. They creep me out. <laughs> you. Yes, oh yes. yes. Yes, they are. Your sister has a child. She creeps me out. You held her. <laughs> she would fall and she just fall. <laughs> yes. Yes. They, they're, they're chubby for a reason. And constantly relaxed and because her head they was trust soft you. And I didn't like it. Well... Yeah, how else are they going to get out? <laughs> Fair. Fair. That is the whole purpose of a baby. I thought you were like getting out like out of the door. No. And all. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm a healthcare professional. I'm going to talk about healthcare parts. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Use your phone like Alex does. I'm literally doing a mindless tap game right now. Uh, some cool tunes spin on the record player next to a little stage. Aw. Hey. Oh, there's a stage. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, wait, you were supposed to read. Fuck it. He's mine, I guess. <laughs> there's other dads. It's okay. Are there like six dads? There's like a lot. There, yeah, there's <laughs> thing that's, that sounds like the right amount of dads. We need to divide the dads. Oh, it's a... I can be all the children. It's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like. I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is really still running. Hmm. <laughs> but people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable. The more I talk, I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. <laughs> I feel you too, Daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna make you really uncomfortable. <laughs> Morax just stares blankly with his bug eyes. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. Mm. So what will it be? Hmm. I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a. Godspeed you, black coffee. <laughs> Ice Tegan and Sarah. Chai Ant Ward. Tegan and Sarah. D they're a band. They're all bands. Ain't new, but Tegan and Sarah's a gay band. I don't know any of these. Um, Chai Ant Ward is based off of the Afrikaans band Die Ant Ward. They were the people that did the soundtrack for Chappie. Hmm. 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 Tegan and Sarah did the Lego movie. So, the Tegan and Sarah then? The uh, gay band? It, it's up to you. It's like, I can't cheat. I refuse to give you guys the right answer. There's an answer? There's an answer that will give you more, uh, affection points. I don't know. You want to get what? them end points? I already gave you my answer. Alright, fine. We'll do Tegan and Sarah. There you go. I got hearts! You did good. I got hearts! Hearts? Ooh, he has a nice arm tattoo. <laughs> what? Not many people get sleeves. Not many people I know get sleeves. You can't see it. It's not a weird angle. Oh, right. Look at that. Oh, okay. Looks like it has a heart in there somewhere. He looks like Lucio from Overwatch. <laughs> she does. Oh, I love Lucio. <laughs> Good choice. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. 
They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism. Everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well then, that's a lot of things Dang. that I just learned. You're also gay twins. Okay. Interesting. Hopefully not together. <laughs> no. Take it just said. Too far? <laughs> Too far. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I'm doing the thing again. Huh. But coming right up. Mm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? I'm guessing that's like large. Uh, medium? Wait, is Biggie Small big or small? Uh, I should really change that, shouldn't I? It's supposed to be large. He's a rapper. Yeah, I know. I actually know Biggie Smalls, so. I know, I only know him because of that one episode of South Park where they would summon Biggie Smalls with, with Bloody Mary. Yeah, I think I saw that episode. Biggie Smalls. I'm not sure how I know him. Biggie Smalls. My uh, my parents listen to a lot of stuff like that. Matt sets sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to, anyway. Hey, hey, Scott with cool ones. Once is the reason. <laughs> like, two years in the 90s. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumber support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Fuck you, couch. <laughs> Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only really cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. Are you uh, trying to hook me up? <laughs> maybe. You should totally become friends with him. Yeah, mm. friends, I'm friends. sure. I'm sure. I'm trying to make it sound like I'm doing the air quotes. Yeah, I know oh, you are. You're doing you. a good job. Thank you. <laughs> also, I just want to make a note. There's a tree on her shirt. Yes. Yes. Yes, because you're the Lord. <laughs> oh, no. And I am a tree. <laughs> I am your little sapling. That's just what I wanted to point out. Oh my god, it's fucking eyebrows. <laughs> we really made him good for the Lord. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what did we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside, and also don't go outside, and also don't talk to people. See? We're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down on our table, and I, and I have a sip. The ice Teagle and Vera is delicious. Did I say that right? I think so. I don't know. Skylar, you're the one that listens That's to them. Tegan and Sarah. Tegan? Tegan. Tegle? Te Tegle and Vera? That, I don't. Fuck it. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Hi, we're new to the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Lorax. <laughs> I really wish I'd put that. <laughs> this is my dad, the Lorax. <laughs> I, I can ad lib. I can ad lib the Lorax next time. All right. Okay. But that just. Oh God, that would've been funny. All right. <clears throat> All right. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda mm -hmm. kicked my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me give you guys. Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, the, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give the Nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be a com 
Commensurate. Commensurate with a. Commensurate. Commensurate. Yeah, commensurate with a. I've taught her well. I have trained. We have trained for this day. I was gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. <laughs> that serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Yeah. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's grateful banana bread right said banana bread. I don't even know if any of these are bands. They're all bands. They're bands, literally. He just said they were bands. I know, but I don't know what the bands are. I don't know I don't either. Know. I don't know dad bands. Just <laughs> don't pick grateful banana bread. Apparently Matt hates Grateful Dead. Oh. Uh, oh, Grateful Dead. Yes. I do know that one. Yeah. I don't know bands enough to like fucking whatever. I think it's Dead Kennedy's as well. Oh, okay. I don't know about the right said banana bread. So I click on this one to get hearts? I don't know. Hearty hearts? Just don't do grateful banana bread. I know I said it wasn't going to help you cheat, but... I, I want hearts. I don't want, I don't want badness. <laughs> no, you want eggplants. Uh -huh. Eggplants? Eggplants. 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 Egg eggplants. Oh, I see what they did there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm like, sorry. Hearts are okay, but you want eggplants. I got hearts. Does that mean I chose like the not as good option? I don't think there's a not as good option, honestly. I think it's interchangeable. I think one is like romantic and one is sexual. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. Like I said, well, why are you talking like that? Like right said Fred. Well, alright. But now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Right said banana bread. Strong, strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Oh. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Hey. See? It sounds good when you say it. <laughs> no. Ooh. Across the way, a man catches my eyes. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Wow. Oh, mysterious. He's just turned over. There's nothing mysterious about it. <laughs> that, that wouldn't surprise me. He looks like the type that would... I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? Who is that man? Who is that man? Amazing. We finish up our drinks and head out. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I should get back to unpacking. Let's get some fresh air. I need a nap. Ooh. <laughs> a nap. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm always up for a nap. <laughs> what about you guys? <laughs> Dude, I already told you. I've already... It what? doesn't matter. You get a vote. No. You get a vote. Stop poking me <laughs> in my cupcake. <laughs> you get a vote. Yeah. I say fresh air or nap. Uh, nap time it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just had coffee. I could sleep through anything. <laughs> I will sleep after I drink coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now all aboard the train to Sleepy Town Junction. <laughs> Did we seriously go take a nap? You seriously went to take a nap? Like, uh, I thought she was gonna talk us out of it. No, you chose nap. You're the dad. Sweet. <laughs> No, I'm not adult enough to make decisions! <laughs> Apparently neither of us are. <laughs> I always promise myself a nap and then I never get it. Because I'm always busy. Whenever I plan to have a nap, I never nap. 
I know, right? And when I don't plan it, you know. When I plan to nap, other people interrupt me, even though I say, Maggie, if Dad goes to knock on my door, stop him, I've already had dinner. Just put it on your... Get a sticky note. He won't read it. He'll just pound on the door anyway and then go, oh, what's stuck to my hand? <laughs> it's going to be the note that says, don't knock on my door. <laughs> get a poster. <laughs> You're like a giant ass poster. I am asleep. <laughs> Do not wake. 